I wanted to make personally. Uh, as many of you know, I am not a homeowner. I happen to be a renter, and I'm affected by this. And I just thank the Lord Jesus Christ as I look at these beautiful skies that I'm even able here to stand with you today. You're very noble people. You're making a difference. I've been watching this since about 2008, and I've been on the East Bay uh, at some of the homes where people were being foreclosed on, even before I even heard of ACE or Occupy Bernal. And one of the things that I noted was that it was people like us that were on the front line. Rarely did you see anybody, any of the suits. You didn't see any of the corporate people. You didn't see anybody that was, that was uh, you know, comfortable in their, their positions uh, and everything. I am a three-time Associated Press award-winning journalist. Yeah. I worked my way through the University of Georgia, raising my uh, teenage sister and my elementary age daughter. And one of the reasons I had to raise my sister was the fact that my father died in Vietnam when I was 10, and my mother died six years later when I was 16. And so about hard work, working hard, being the, for the American dream, I know all about working hard. Uh, as a result, I'm the oldest of four, and all of my siblings are very hardworking Americans. Uh, two of my brothers are truckers. My sister is uh, in real estate and in insurance. Uh, she and my daughter both um, are graduates of college. My daughter, I worked my way, um, worked her way through the the University of ba Baylor University while I was working for the American Red Cross. So I worked 10 years for the American Red Cross and I had, I worked from being a public affairs person to the executive officer of San Francisco County. And then additionally I moved on to San Francisco Unified School District where I established an award-winning communications department for them. I went on from there back to my roots in broadcasting and I um, was able to get my work acknowledged by the national company when I worked for CBS 5 and CW Bay Area as the public affairs manager. So I know about hard work. And I know that hard work is supposed to make a difference, but it hasn't made a difference in this situation. And there are many people that make decisions uh, in these boardrooms around derivatives, affecting people's lives, Wall Streets, that would look down on people like us because we're not working hard enough. That is not true. We are working hard enough. We need to get back to the roots of this nation, of protecting the homestead, of protecting the home, so that people can have the basis to build wealth once again. And there needs to be laws to change. I have seen situations where I have gone in to help the homeowner, homeowner where I rented from their room, and I go into a courthouse er and everything, and then I am treated very badly, but the person who is running papers for the company, for the bank, they're treated very well. So no help for me, but everything is uh, open doors for the corporations. And so our laws have been Why changed. Do you think that is? <laughs> money, 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 yes. So that, that, makes, that makes a difference, you know, the fact of how this is happening. People are losing their homes too quickly. People who don't know the process, who don't, who, who don't know that you can uh, uh, go to the bankruptcy laws to at least stop and protect your homes. And then I've been on the, st on the steps of San Francisco in another situation where having documentation that this house is protected from... Um, by bankruptcy laws and they were totally ignored and the house was sold anyway. So the whole trauma of it all, the things that <coughs> happen, you know, it's like people have to be educated. Uh, I met Doreen yesterday in, in the meeting that we, we had and she was uh, um, an elderly woman, Filipino woman, and she was so thankful to Stardust and members of uh, Occupy Bernal that came and knocked on her door. She said, Jackie, I didn't know there was anybody there that could help me and I'm here today because I want to support uh, anything that you're doing because you guys help made a diff make, make a difference. So there are people who don't know, and we are just a little seed right now. But I can tell you that there are mighty oak trees that come from seeds, 
seeds so that we need to keep pressing on what we're doing and, and help. And it's so great to have the solidarity that we're, we're creating with, with James and that, that are making to find out what's happening because we've got to turn this country back around. We've got to let our legislators know what we're experiencing on the front line. We have to be persistent and we have to keep our voices moving forward. And I just want to say I thank you very much and I'm proud to stand with you to make a difference because with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 All right, Jackie. All right, Jackie. Love it.